Hello Aquarius, this is your May 2019 monthly reading. I know, I'm late. I know you guys have been lighting me up, but I am here now. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you guys in love for May 2019. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for my Aquarius friends? We're going to do a Celtic cross. Aquarius, please show me love messages for Aquarius. What's going on around you there? What's crossing you guys there? <clears throat> Let's see, past issues. Let's see, move that up a little bit. What's going on in the recent past? Let's see. What's crowning you? What's coming in for you? Let's see how you're viewing this situation. What influence for you guys? I'm going to pull that one. Your hopes or fears. And the overall there. Alright, what's going on around you currently? Ooh, it's the Ace of Cups. A lot of healing. Um, I feel that I'm, I'm getting that you guys have like this 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 newfound um, self-esteem even um, love for things or people that you didn't have before it's almost like a veil has been removed okay feeling very open loving I love it uh, some of you may have started a new relationship, okay, here, or you could have a water sign that is um, significant for you guys, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, okay, what is crossing you is the Two of Swords energy, so maybe there is something that you guys are just not sure about, okay, um, maybe there is a new interest in someone and you're really not sure what to do about it or how to feel about it um, something like that Libra energy is there you're trying to decide I feel if if this is right for you okay I don't I feel like you guys are not trying to um, move too fast that's what I'm getting okay you're not trying to move too fast. You're trying to take everything into account and um, weigh your options. Okay, let's see what the underlying issue is here. Ooh, the Four of Swords. You've been resting. Um, I think you've been in a period of time where you, you were hurt. Um, and I feel like you needed some time to kind of get past that and so now excuse me you guys are at a point where you're comfortable mentally there's nothing really bothering you um, and I feel that with this newfound love for someone or something these emotions you really don't want this to really take control of you you don't want it to um, mess with your your mental stability right now. Like I'm, I'm getting this, I'm getting this this thought of you know you haven't been with anybody and you haven't had to think about anybody else's feelings for a while. Um, you haven't had those ups and downs like emotionally, you know, in a relationship. You know how it can be, you know, when it's happy, it's happy. But then you know those times are coming when there's going to be some sort of conflict. And I think it's that conflict that you're trying to avoid. Because you've gotten past something here. Whether it's with this individual or whether it's with something from your past. Okay? Um, because this Ace of Cups is something new doesn't mean that it's a new person it could mean that something has started over again or your feelings have been awakened 
you know. Um, but you're not trying to fall back into old habits is what I'm getting here, okay? Now, in the recent past, we have the Seven of Cups. Um, this is a lot of confusion going on, okay? Not really knowing, um, you know, whether you should stay somewhere emotionally, stay involved in it emotionally, or let it go. Because there was there was a lot going on, I feel like, that you guys felt you needed to get away from. It wasn't good for you emotionally. Okay? Um, and I think you've gotten past that. So, your, your stability is in question here. And I feel like this is you not really trying to rock the boat currently. It's like you, you have these feelings, but it's like, I don't know if it's the right thing for me to do to explore these feelings because, you know, I could end up, you know, in the same situation that I was in before. Okay, so your crowning thoughts here. It's the Empress. You've definitely come to a point where... You're confident. You've been working on yourself. You're wanting to start something new. You don't want it to rock your stability, though, is the thing. Definitely don't want to rock your stability. Because you think about a time where, you know, you didn't feel so good here. And you definitely don't want to go back to that. So I feel like even though you're feeling this newness, these 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 feelings for um, someone, I don't feel like you have made a decision to act on it though. It's a thing. It's like you're holding yourself back from it. For my male Aquarius friends, I feel like there's definitely an Aries or Taurus um, or Libra person that that you're thinking about um, that you feel like you know this would be something that could be good um, wanting to start over with this person but for my Aquarius ladies I feel that you guys have built yourself up to a point where you you're really not trying to um, be set back okay Aquarius males too, you're not wanting to be set back, but I feel like this person that you're thinking about is not the person that you, you know, had an issue with before for the Aquarius males. It's just that your past experience is making you leery of this person, okay? Now, what's coming in for you is a Nine of Swords. You're talking yourself out of this this new feeling that's making you feel good you're talking yourself out of it you're using more logic than emotion okay um, thinking that you know all the things that could go wrong are going to go wrong basically is what you're doing here okay now how you're feeling about this currently is the ten of Pentacles This is what you want. You feel like this could be something that that could bring you like this the ultimate stability. Okay. Um, this is something that you feel that could lead to marriage, a stable home life. This is a person that you feel like possibly could be the one that you could spend the rest of your life with. But I feel like a lot of you guys are, you know, you're in your head about this. And your past issues with another situation is is really kind of deterring you from starting over from exploring this this new love okay now the influence here is the page of cups the 
the influence here is I feel that a lot of you guys have been cheated on before. You've been cheated on before and you're feeling that possibly it could happen again and of course there's always a possibility but you cannot live your life thinking about all the negatives that could happen otherwise you will never be happy um, you kind of have to take each experience for what it is but I, I but I know that feeling of you know just not wanting to put yourself through this kind of situation again because that was very hurtful. It took a while to get over this. And I feel like, you know, of course the remnants of what happened are still here. But that is what's influencing you guys. Is the fact that y you're trying to make sure that that shit never happens again. And I get it. But don't shoot yourself in the foot. Okay. But use your discernment. If, if there's something about this situation with this individual, this new, whether it's a new person, whether it's just a new start, um, if there's something about this person that does not sit well with you, then go with that, you know. But um, I definitely would, would not suggest projecting, you know, what you've experienced with someone else onto this current person if this is a different person. Okay, now your hopes or fears is strength, energy. Hmm. There, I'm feeling there is, you want to be able to forgive um, and move on. I feel like it's been a struggle for you to move forward and let certain things go. And I feel like that is where you are right now. You want to be able to do that, but it's super hard for you. Super hard for you. You want to tame those fears that you're currently having, um, you know, about everybody being a cheater or, you know whatever whatever the betrayal is here that you've experienced okay now the overall here is the magician this is the overall outcome this is what's you guys you have the ability you have the ability to make something happen to make something basically out of nothing Okay, you have all the aces, the ace of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of wands, and the ace of pentacles. It's in your hands. But you have to know that you can do it. You have to know that you can do it. You have to own it. It's up to you. This is what this says, the magician. This is up to you. Power's in your hand. Use your discernment. Okay, so... We have Leo, we have um, Gemini, Scorpio, I feel, energy here, um, Virgo energy, Libra, Aries, Taurus, okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and um, I'll speak with you soon, bye now.